Hey everyone on YouTube, this is Brian with Modern Day Computers and today we're going to really change the viewpoint of this Kindle Fire. Now I'm just letting you know that this Kindle Fire is rooted and today we're going to change it from this boring bookshelf to make it look like a real Android tablet. The program that we're going to uh, install is called Go Launcher EX. It makes the it's a, it's actually a skin that you um, over put overlay on you know this this will remain this is not so we're not going to change anything uh, just let you know that this requires a rooted Kindle and it uh, and I do have videos on how to uh, root the Kindle as well as install the Android Market is where where you get the uh, file from. And I am not responsible for uh, anything that, in case if you brick the device. So be forewarned because super user access can be dangerous for someone who does not understand what's going on. So if you haven't watched my video on how to do the vid or uh, Android Market install, go watch it first because it's very important that you know exactly what to do because there, there's extra steps that need to be involved. So I'm going to go to apps, and all these apps here I managed to basically install from the Android Market itself, except for a couple from directly from the uh, uh, Amazon App Store, which you know, to, which I had purchased before for free from the free app of the day. But I'm going to go to Market Opener, and let's see. So I'm just going to, and then you just go to search and you type in Go Launcher. Even though I had it already, but I like to guide people. And then it'll say Go Launcher EX. You just tap that. It'll come up as first one, and then you install it. This makes it look a lot better. So, and plus, you know, you get your get to be able to change the uh, backgrounds. Though there, though, if you remember when you boot up the Amazon Kindle Fire, that uh, the background changes all the time. And so, we're, I'm going to show you a video on how to fix that problem because before I had the matrix and it had the little green lines going down so it was really cool so from, so now that it's installed all I have to do is hit the home button and it'll come up with launcher and go and go launcher EX I'm gonna hit use default by this action and hit go launcher And it'll tell me all about the themes, transition effects, the widgets that you can download. Uh, you can make folder apps and update log. And quick setting. And this is desk migrate. I don't have to worry about that right now. We'll go back. And there it is. This is Go Launcher. You have down here, though this is originally set for a uh, Android phone, because when I you do have the phone icon down here, and when you click it, you know it'll ask for that, ask for your email address and stuff. But center, you have the center button here, and it shows you all your apps. Very cool. And you have Windows. Let's see. It, it also get this is this is basically how you want the uh, transition from one window swipe to another. You can do bounce and you know there's so many different uh, versions of it. But the real one of the really neat versions that I have of things I have is that if you swipe up, you're given the uh, uh, desktop views. And say got it and all you have to do you know nine desktops move over 
you could, I mean, I could just keep adding desktops if I wanted to. That's 27 desktops right there. And you do have the option of a little house right there. See, see the little greenhouse? That that represents it, it's home. So when you hit home button, it will go, always go to the screen. But basically, you know, you can customize this. Um, as for the bar down here, you can change these icons. You can put Gmail and stuff, since you don't have a real phone functioning. But other than that, this is pretty nice. Now, you see in the background, it's film. Now, if I shut this off, I turn it back on. Now you see the tips of pencils. I lock it, unlock it, and it goes there. I'll show you how to uh, change the background. You can put live wallpapers on here. Though, as compared to an uh, Android phone, you can't really interact with the live wallpapers. An example, you know, be Nexus. You know, I can't do that. I'll have to do research, see if that's possible. But, uh, Galaxy. Yeah. It's very pretty. You can set it. And that. Uh, yeah, okay. And then, you know, it's just telling me. There's a little bar up there that's sliding over. Because I have 27 desktops. If I hit home, bam. But, uh, I will show you in the next video on how to set your desktop. And because you can download uh, live wallpapers from the Google Market or Android Market. So, that'll be exciting. Because then you really have your own customized Kindle Fire. So, Stay tuned for that. And again, this is Brian with Modern Day Computers. Have fun and geek out.